I had some money saved up. I'm a freelance web designer. So I got a job in the Smoky Mountains. I work really hard. I got rid of a house. I teach online courses. I got myself a small income stream. We worked really hard. Buying and reselling vintage clothes. I could do my job anywhere. I think there's plenty of opportunities to work on the way. So I'm a graphic right. designer. We work on farms through an organization called Woof. So I'm a private music teacher. And Greg started doing our jobs. In exchange for food from the farm. Full-time touring musicians. I definitely don't define myself by a career. While you're at the farm, you don't have any money exchange. Very lucky that it is a trade you can take anywhere. Now I look at it as work as a way to get to the, the dream lifestyle. It don't take a lot to get by. That's the key. I'm gonna stay young forever. See if we can bring him out. Yeah, so the zip folder I have. What is work like? Really, not just how you make money, but on a deeper level. Is it what gives us purpose? Will contain the three attacks. Is it what we give to ourselves and the world? Or is it just a brutal necessity, a function of modern civilization? Corey and I have opposite work histories. After receiving a BA in business, I was on a career-driven path, mostly because I thought I should be. Marketing director, freelance web developer. Throw a bit of acting in there, and that's my story. Corey was on a track to become a physician's assistant, or maybe even a doctor, but he knew he wouldn't thrive in an office, and now his resume is full of fun jobs like kayak and mountain biking guide, assistant for whale photography, PA for a TV show about aliens, and organic farm work. I've got to find my shirt. Did you put it up above? Did you... If I get it, <laughs> get out. If I find it in under four seconds. <laughs> okay. In the beginning of our van life, we determined the most efficient way to work was my freelance <sighs> website development. <laughs> so for most of the journey, I've had a large web contract that's given us ample freedom to roam the country and follow our passions. Maybe Corey a little bit more than me. I'm just going to stay here and work, okay? Um, you're not going to stay here and work. I am. Go ride your I bike. I don't want to go bike. I just need to work. It's frustrating for me because I have seriously so much to do. I'm like, oh, let's just go bike. Like, no big deal. We'll just go bike and have some fun. And I'm like, I can't well, even like clear of, my whole... mind as all of these tasks that are like floating around my brain. I... The whole point of what we're doing is to get out and explore and do the things we want. So. You have to make you have to make time to do that. If you're not making time to do that, then we might as well just go back home. Let's just don't be silly about it. Be like real. Realize that I don't want to work anymore. I want to be. I, I am like on the edge of like feeling free. I want to feel fully free. I want to go out into the wilderness and disconnect from the internet for periods of time. And I can't do that with the work that I have now. So but I think you can I've, do that if you ha use time management skills that you have that you choose not to use all the time. I think if you really are... But as, are, a, as a web developer, I have clients that I have to be there for and I can't just disconnect. I'm so if you want more freedom, you need to start figuring out a ways to work with them that creates more freedom. Okay. Or tell them that you're no longer a web developer and he'll help them transition to another developer. Okay. That's, that's realistically your options. Yep. Okay. But right now, I think we don't have a ton of daylight, so we should probably go mountain biking. I was working in the dark. Yeah, we have electricity here that we can work into the night. Okay. So let's go mountain biking and then we can talk about this later. Okay. A little monster. Corey keeps me in check. Reflecting on work is something I do a lot, 
and I looked forward to learning more from the community of modern nomads. Maybe they would help give me clarity in my search to redefine what work means to me. We found this boat. Neither one of us really had any boating experience. Um, then the story started writing itself. In a few months, we quit our jobs. Um, <laughs> I've always worked in corporations, 30 years of corporate work. A steady paycheck, paid vacation, air conditioning, comfort, health care, and it was a big jump mentally, I guess, for me to sacrifice the security for the freedom. But I don't want to go back. I wish I had done it sooner. I'm more used to doing something different. I did go to college, but I didn't get out of college and do the corporate job and do all this stuff, you know, get married and have kids and do that whole thing like, you know, you're supposed to. But one day it was just like, we're, we're get, we'll just get rid of everything. We went ahead and paid off the house in Atlanta started saving money and saved enough money to buy the boat. So we rented out the house. Yeah. They ended up buying it after two years. After, after our first season sailing, we didn't really know what we were going to do, um, but I didn't want to sail over the summers. We were visiting friends and we kind of fell into this house sitting thing in our old community in Cabbage Town. Everybody goes on vacation. Lots of them have pets. Everybody has plants. And Greg started doing odd jobs. You walk down the street and someone sees you painting a fence and then um, you get more work from that and, and we stay busy too. But yeah, we, we made enough this summer to be able to buy the van. We're very excited about being able to do some land travel. Yeah, we want to travel out west. So that'll probably be our fall thing. I also have um, investments, some investment money. I got an inheritance that um, about 20 years ago that I haven't squandered yet. We had some advantages. But I mean, I know that you can go out and you can buy a thousand dollar van and live in it and travel. You, if, you, if you're gonna travel on the cheap, you're, you're gonna have to learn how to fix things yourself. And, and you're gonna face the same problems. Just about everything on this boat has broken at one time or another and we've had to fix it. And the same thing is going to happen with the van. Even if you buy a, a really expensive boat or a really expensive van, if you, if you, you know, don't have unlimited resources, you're going to have to figure out how to fix it yourself. And an another thing that this lifestyle gives us that, that I never had before was time. We go into our neighborhood and there are people who like to sit on their porches and we have time to sit on their porches with them now. And we'll sit on yeah. their porch and have a beer and we'll play a song and, and just sit around and talk just like they did in the old days. We had spent the night in the driveway of the home that Dwan and Greg were house-sitting. When we left the next morning to head to our next interview, we were grateful for the new friendships and memories the journey was bringing. And, for the time being, our vans were smoothly running. See you, Corey. Yeah, Corey, how's it going, Sean? Hi, Sean, how's it going? I just brought it up one day, I was like, we're thinking of moving. Why don't we just see it all and then choose and not just go someplace? So I'm a private music teacher and what's great about living on the road is that I can teach them through Skype and so I do that for them. But also I've been um, producing videos, guitar tutorials on YouTube for a year and a half now. Hi everyone, Sean here from Cordistry.com. Today I'm gonna show you how to play Ed Sheeran's cover of Trap Queen. I just kept at it and every day I'd put up one, sometimes two a day and then skip a couple days. There was a month or two where I was pretty bad at it. But um, over time I, I, I got better equipment and uh, better audio. And so for anybody who's trying to do YouTube professionally or, or to gain momentum, put something together that's very original but um, also very consistent. I love my work. Um, I, you know, just graduating college a couple years ago, 
to support myself freelancing was a far off dream, but now I was kind of forced into doing it and I love it. I would say if you haven't started traveling yet and you want to do graphic design on the road, grab as many clients as possible before you leave. I had to quit my job two months before this trip started and they were planning to let me work on the road, so I had set income and all of a sudden, two months before the trip, no income. So I had to start my freelance business up from scratch again, which had been dead in the water for two years. For modern nomads, work is a necessary component of living the dream. Either work is our passion or it enables a passion. Gratefully, we live in a country where we are free to explore and redefine concepts like work to fit our values and desires. But what if definitions are dangerous to our growth as human beings? In seeking to redefine work, I've realized that life is change. From our passing thoughts to the seasons, seconds, moments, and miles. And as we continuously grow, our concept of work may also evolve. A definition of anything is most authentic when it stays in the mystery, allowing it to have a little room for its own journey. Stay young forever Stay young all night Hold on to the sunrise I wanna stay young forever I wanna stay young forever Stay young all night Hold on to the sunrise I wanna stay young forever I'm gonna stay young forever